Welcome back to commercial cleaning from zero to janitorial. So we're still in section four, but now this is gonna get fun. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this section. I'm talking of course about Facebook ads. Now let me tell you, Facebook ads are amazing when you use them right. If, just, uh, if you just boost random posts, then you're just burning money away. Do not boost posts. What you need to do is use the Facebook business manager. All you have to do is go to business.facebook.com. That's, that's I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Um, the business manager actually has a suite of tools that you can use to help, help you understand, interpret, and make changes based on the data that you receive from your ads. That's, you know, that, that's what Facebook ads is all about. Sometimes you might have to try five different images five different videos or five different texts to find out the winner and create the ultimate ad. Um, Facebook ads, it, it's really about reading the data, trying different things, ha see how people react, and then make the changes. Uh, now, the first step when you create an ad is to choose an objective. Facebook is gonna ask you, uh, what, what do you wanna do with this ad? Do you want people to visit your website? Do you want people to send you a message? Do you want to create lead generation? Do you want engagement? You know, do you want people to like, comment, share your post? So that's the first step. You need to cho choose your objective. Um, Facebook uses demographic and be behavioral data to choose who they show your ad to. Now you, you're gonna, we're going to concentrate on, on these different type of ads. We're not gonna go through them all. You don't need them all, really. Uh, this is, these are the ones that we use, <clears throat> and they, they work for us. And you can, you can still, you can try different, uh, different objectives and see how they work out for you. So we, we're gonna talk about three. All right. So first one, engagement. Now this is about social proof. Now on the web, uh, consumers live and breathe social proof before making any sort of decision on what they want to buy. Uh, social proof is measured by like, comments, and shares. Uh, choosing engagement will tell Facebook to show your ads to people who are more likely to uh, do one of the three options. You know, we'll, we'll talk about more, we'll talk about this when I share my social media strategy in, in a few minutes. And now just so you know, we'll, we'll do a brief demo on, on how to create your ad and we'll look through the screens because i know when when you have no idea and this happened to me when I, I i didn't even know that the actual business manager existed um and this is what social media people marketing people actually use so i know it looks intimidating but we'll, we'll go screen by screen and i'll show you i'll i'll, I'll do a walkthrough so let me talk about the next uh type of objective traffic now, this is about moving people from point A to point B. If you choose traffic, Facebook will show your ad to people who are willing to click on your ad for point A and actually go to point B. That could be your website, your landing page, click funnel, whatever it is, whatever strategy you choose to use. Now, lastly, let's talk about lead generation. Now, this is a great way to create warm leads. Uh, look around Facebook. You'll see it, it's been done again and again, and, and there's one reason for that. It actually works. Um, we don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to come up with something new. You just need to look at what everyone else is doing and create a version of that that works for you. Now, you, you offer something for free. For example, an ebook on how to keep your facility clean or how to choose the right janitorial company or the top 10 reasons you should keep your facility, uh, facility clean. I mean, you probably see it every single day that says, download this free ebook that will show you blah, 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 right? Now that's how lead generation works. Since people have to provide you with an email so they can send, you can actually send them the ebook, you can also use that email address to send your information. By providing value, you build trust. Now, for a good illustration on how Facebook chooses who's likely to comment on your post or visit your website, I would highly, I would highly recommend watching the movie Brexit, uh, which gives you a great picture of 
how powerful Facebook is. Facebook records, uh, records data points every time you perform an action on their platform. And actually on websites too, because uh, a lot of websites have Pixel installed. And we'll, we'll talk about Pixel, because Pixel is it's magic. I mean, you, you're gonna love what Pixel can do for your business. And Pixel, it's a part of uh, Facebook. So basically, every time you're on Facebook, Facebook is recording your data. Now, every time you're on a random website, Facebook might be recording your, recording your data too, because if that website has uh, Pixel installed, then Facebook will be recording your, your data, how you behave, what you click on, and so on. Now, Facebook will use hundreds, if not thousands, of data points about your behavior to make a profile of you. And, and lastly, choose if you're more likely to leave a comment, like a page, click on an ad and whatever action you attempt to perform. Facebook will say, well, this person usually leaves a comment or leaves a like, let, let me show you, let me show you the ad. And at the end of the day, if that's, you know, the objective that you choose, right? Uh, now there are two key things that you should also know about Facebook ads. Facebook pixel. Now, pixel is just a piece of code that you place on your website. That's it. It collects data that helps you track conversions from Facebook ads, optimize ads, build targeted audiences or for future ads, uh, and remark it uh, to people who have already taken some kind of action on your website. In simple terms, you will be able to track someone who visited your website. And, and I, I, I gotta tell you, Pixel, it's, it's amazing. Now, this is a, uh, if, if you have no idea what Pixel is, uh, we'll, we'll, again, we'll, we'll do a, a, a brief walkthrough. But once you get to the business manager, uh, it's so simple. I mean, once you go to the uh, Facebook Pixel part, they give you instructions step by step, depending on what platform you use. Uh, it's super easy. They really make it super easy. Now, let me talk to you about what I consider to be the, the ultimate magical tool from Facebook ads. And that's lookalike audience. Now, lookalike audience generally means an algorithm assemble group of social network members who resemble in some way another group of members. Now, <laughs> let, let me translate all that. Remember when we mentioned all those data points Facebook collects about you? Now, Facebook used their algorithm to mine those data points and find people who are likely to hire your services. They basically look at your pixel and analy analyze the people that visited your website. In simple terms, it's like having a personal sales team. Facebook, it's like you're telling Facebook, Facebook, We'll look for more clients like my previous client who are likely to hire my services and, and when you find them, just show them my ad. So think about it this way. I know this person and this person and this person uh, acquired my service, right? And Facebook has all their data. So now Facebook will look at, you know, what's the common thing between these three people and go look, uh, the, the Facebook will, will go find people like, like those people and actually show them your ad i mean the lookalike audience it, it's just genius and when you have a hundred a thousand ten thousand uh data points uh no i'm sorry not data points but people that actually uh acquire your service i mean it's it's super simple for facebook to uh to find you new clients that, that might hire your services um if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Uh, I mean, I feel like lookalike is just some magical being from the future that, that came to help us, you know? <laughs> now, uh, now that we got all that out, out of the way, let me talk about the social media strategy. Uh, it's, it's really important that you actually have a strategy and you're not just doing like random stuff, you know, like, oh, let me try this ad, let me try this ad, because it's, it's not gonna work you need you need a master plan so I mean you can Google you can think about different strategies you can Google you know Facebook ads strategies let me just share with you a strategy that works for me 
and you'll see uh, it's basically step by step building until uh, the last goal uh, which is finding new clients right that they want to hire your service so step one you need social proof so we're gonna start by building our social proof uh, following the principle of monkey see monkey do we need to have a strong Facebook page with reviews likes, shares and comments by having a lot of uh, social proof, it means that if someone visits our page, they will see that people actually trusted us and were happy with our services. That will increase the likelihood of them using our services. Now, that means that we need to write, run an engagement ad. Now, I would highly recommend when you talk to your clients, it, if you can get a, a, a review on, on Google and Facebook, because this way, that, that's social proof. But again, if they see likes, shirts, comments, I mean, that, that will push them over the edge. It helps a lot. Um, okay, so now we have social proof, right? So now that we have social proof, it's time to drive traffic to our website. We need to beef up our Facebook pixel. That means that we need a lot of people to visit our website. So we have data on people that, that are at least intrigued by our services. Um, basically, we need to feed that Facebook pixel, which is installed on your website, lots of clients that, that might be interested on, on your services, right? Um, let me see. Uh, so once, so Facebook, basically, the, the reason that we're sending all those clients so Facebook can learn about the kind of people who are interested in our services, or at least intrigued. So now it's time to launch a traffic ad and bring as many people as we can to our website the reason that we run a traffic ad after the engagement ad is because some people might check our facebook page even if they see the ad you know they're gonna click on the facebook page and that's even before they open your website and if they click on your facebook page and it looks bad it doesn't look professional you don't have a logo you don't have a single comment you don't have a like they're not gonna even go to your website. So you need that social proof. So just to recap, first we get social proof. Now that we have social proof, we do an ad, a traffic ad that will take people to our website because we need to train that uh, Facebook pixel. Now, step three, now you can start retargeting. You know when, when, when you, um, you search for something to buy and then you start seeing those ads all over the place because that happens to all of us uh, that what retargeting is that's what retargeting is I mean now we think that we have all the pixel data available to uh, uh, to us we can create a custom audience and convert those leads into customers and, and I'll again I'll do a walk through a walk through because this might sound like Chinese right now to you but just just follow me okay so we can create a custom audience and it's a custom audience all it is is just a defined audience uh, and we can actually show them your ad so uh, you know someone went to your website and closed it and forgot about you guess what now you're gonna follow them now you're gonna follow them with your ads and show them all that you can do uh, now you can create a custom audience and target people who visited your website someone that left the comment someone that liked your page someone that watch your video filled out a lead form uh, interactive with your facebook page page in any way so it's not just about the people in the pixel that visited your website but people that interacted with your page and that's one of the reasons that uh i always recommend i see people asking oh can you please like my page no don't do that you need actual data truthful data that um that you can use because that will that will just mess up with Facebook algorithm. If you're on a, on a business owner's page, and I see this on a single, almost every single day, you, they're, they're asking other business owners uh, to like your page. Now, they, they're not gonna be interested in hiring your services. They actually might have the same business that you have. So that will throw out Facebook and it will mess up with, your, with your, all your data. Um, so now that we can actually now you finally know how to retarget people you know how to follow them and show them your ad right so now 
let's talk about the last the last step in, in your marketing strategy um, the look like again at this point since we have enough data because you probably have a lot of people interacted with your page a lot of people visit your website uh, we can also run a new campaign with a lookalike audience. I mean, do you know that you can actually upload your current customer list, and Facebook will look for uh, will look for people just like them and show them your ad. I mean, that's crazy. Lookalike is probably one of the biggest and most interesting tools using Facebook ads. Um, think about it this way: whatever CRM you use, and we'll, we'll talk about that when we get to the software part. But you have, you know, your client's uh, name, email, whatever it is, you can upload that and Facebook will actually look for clients that look just like that. So they can, Facebook can actually show them your ad and they're more or less, uh, they might be interested in hiring your services. Again, lookalike is just, I think it's the last uh, the last step on, on any marketing strategy and, and I've seen it used a lot, especially in e-commerce. Um, but anyways, uh, this concludes the, uh, th so this is all the theory, all the basic information on, on social media strategy that you can use uh, for Facebook. I hope it's obvious how now that having a strategy uh, is the most important part of your playbook. I mean, I, I you just don't do random stuff you need to have a strategy now follow the strategy read the data see what ad works uh, adjust it and go at it again at the end of the day you want to see what works what doesn't work fix it change it and and create that ultimate ad that that's going to help you now let me uh, so what we'll do now is so remember we talked about we talked about traffic, we talked about engagement, and it actually has that information right there. So if we go through all of them, it's gonna help you. Um, messages, video views, I mean, so let's start with traffic or uh, let's see, we want engagement first. Let, let's do engagement. So click on engagement uh, choose your budget so let's say ten dollars a day I usually even go five dollars a day if I want to try different ads you don't have to spend a lot of money um, you, it's, it's not necessary to spend a lot of money um, even if you do five dollars a day uh, it helps it helps a lot and especially when you when you're not sure which ad you should use I see a lot of people asking in, in the groups, oh, should I use this ad? What do you think about? Just try it. Try five different ones for a day or two and see what works the best. And I'll show you how to read the data. Um, click on continue. <clears throat> so here's where you create your audience. So let me show you. So, okay, first let me create a normal audience so I'm gonna say uh, let's say Orlando so you can choose the radius let's do uh, 15 let me zoom in all right so it shows you you know the area that's gonna affect the business uh, this data, I mean, you can change it. I mean, usually I would leave it at 20, 25, see how it works. I usually leave it at 65 because I do live in, a, in an area that there's a lot of uh, retired people. Um, genders, I usually leave all genders. You can choose between male or female. I've seen it work when, with all genders. Um, now, here's the retargeting, uh, the detailed targeting that you can choose, for example, home clean. Uh, oh. So clean and maintenance service, or let's do janitorial.
There you are. Uh, clean and maintenance services, business owners. So remember, you want to sell to business owners, right? So business owner might be uh, actually a good uh, demographic that you want to target. Um, let's see. Let's do B two B. Um, a few suggestions business to business okay great so that that's what I meant by B2B so I usually just do suggestions and and, and just use common sense more or less um, so that will be uh, a targeting targeting uh, demographic a detail of targeting now let me erase all that because what I want to show you is based on what we talked about before it's right here where it says custom audience now let's say if you don't have an audience at all then you can do targeting and that works too I mean I try everything uh, at the end of the day you need to try things and look at the data now let's say uh, first let, let's create a custom audience so website so create an audience based on web websites visitors from your Facebook pixel so this is what we talked about right so uh, let's say websites visitors and you can change all websites visitors the last 90 days Now that created your audience, right? So it's gonna show your ad to the last, uh, the people that visited your website the last 90 days. But you can also create a lookalike look -alike audience. So again, uh, this, what we'll do is, uh, there you go. So what we'll do is, we'll look at those 90 people that visited your website and we'll try to find people just like that and show them your ad so i feel like the look like is ultimately the, the ultimate tool i mean you do want to use it and create that so as you can see it's gonna show it to lookalikes and it's gonna show it to website visitors and if you just want to do the lookalikes uh you know this is going to be cold traffic that's fine and again let me just show you custom audience uh customer list this is where you actually have to uh upload uh your customer uh information facebook page so the people that actually interacted with your facebook page um you have a lot of options uh again you need to try it and see how it works for you the strategy that I gave you is just one off, you know. Um, again, you can try <laughs> a lot of uh, strategies and see what works. And lastly, so we're almost done. Uh, now we just set up, uh, we just set up um, the actual ad, and you know you can create a, an, a new post. Um, It will give you uh, it will give you an actual preview right here on the right uh, okay I, I was at the wrong tab I wanted to do create ad so you add a picture you add some text you can add a button that says learn more and now you can actually take them to your website arol.com good old times so I mean w once you're done you just confirm it and that's it it's gonna be running so at, at the end of the day um, it's not difficult and you need to try it you need to play with it um, you don't need to spend a lot of money you can try it for a day or two um, I, I currently have 
and add running let me show you so I think I'm spending like five bucks per ad so basically I'm running one campaign with uh, one ad the ad doesn't change but I, what I change is the ad set meaning the uh, the audience so as you can see you I did a targeting audience that's the one that you target that you choose business to business business owners and all that then I'm running the same ad using original audience so I actually uh, I'm using current um, current uh, clients and show them my ad and then I'm using a lookalike look -alike audience based on website and Facebook page so let me quickly run you through the data and you can basically choose your columns there there's a lot of data that you can read um, so this is what what's telling me the cost per result and that means well let me walk you step by step this is how much I spent so far on on each ad so the first one 20 bucks the second one 246 and the third one 56 18 now Facebook will actually choose where to spend more money where it thinks that you should be spending the money now and actually spending more money on the lookalike original audience I actually expected not to be a lot since it's like current clients um, now frequency frequency is how often they see your ads uh, the average number of times each person saw your ad you definitely want to keep it under two if you see it going above two you need to shut it down and I'll probably do do it with this one it's that blue button on the left right next to original audience you know I'll, I'll go ahead and shut it down but frequency you want to keep it under two because then you don't want people to get tired of seeing the same ad over and over so uh, when we set uh, with the cost per result basically is the people that clicked on my ad and actually saw the ad and actually clicked on the button that says learn more and it takes them to my website you can see the cost per landing page view so that means that basically each click of each person that actually opened the website it's costing me 41 cents 49 cents for the original audience and 49 cents for the lookalike audience um, it's not it's not bad at all um, let's see so link clicks that means there you go the number of clicks uh, within the ad so um, out of 56 50 actually open open the website 545 on the original audience and on the lookalike audience 134 clicked on the ad 114 actually opened the website that I mean they click on the ad and maybe the website didn't load maybe they closed the website before it opened maybe they misclicked so I mean these are good numbers um, so the ad is actually a video and when it's video you can see who saw the three seconds the first three seconds of, of the video um, and then who saw at least 95% and you can change that again these columns you can actually uh, where is it right here no I don't want to sorry right here so if you go customize columns you can see all these different data points you see all the them scrolling through that's all the stuff that you, the data that you can actually read and you click on it and it will bring it to your column selected so now for example videos you can see who watched three seconds who watched 95 percent um, I mean at the end of the day you know what you have to do is try different videos see what works best uh, I have tried the stocks videos the one that you buy off the website uh, of any uh, of websites and for me what worked best is the ones the one that we're running right now which is um, a custom video that I shot on my phone and I edited it on my computer and actually I did a voiceover with uh, I paid someone on Fiverr for a voiceover I think I, I maybe I spent 40 bucks because I usually pay for 
like next day delivery because I don't have any patience. <laughs> um, but yeah, Fiverr, you can probably get a voiceover for $25, $30. It, it ain't much and it adds a lot of professional professionalism. Um, I highly recommend, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a link on the description if I can remember. Um, let me see, I think I had the ad open around here. Maybe not. All right, give me just a second. Let's see if I click on the ad. Okay, it's right here. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna do preview. I'm gonna do, let's see if I can play it right here. At oh. Chester's Premium Cleaning Services, delivering a clean and fresh experience is our top priority. We deliver a customized, precise, and prestigious cleaning experience. Desbusters is a registered, licensed, and insured business based in Central Florida. At Dustbusters, we are committed to providing you with the highest standards of service to ensure your complete satisfaction. Dustbusters Premium Cleaning Service, a business you can trust. Okay, so... As you can see, nothing crazy. It just shows, uh, just shows uh, our business, what we do, um, and always be truthful. I mean, show them who you are. Um, people really love. I think there was a change in in marketing uh, from where people don't really like like high uh, high end ads. They actually prefer a bit more of you, like more of who you are. So I don't see a problem with doing a, a, what you might call a homemade video. You know, you can show them how you clean. You can show them, you can do an interview with, uh, with a client of you. You can do an interview with you, you know, as the business owners, as a business owner. Um, I mean, there are a lot of options. At, at the end of the day, what I do want to get through is uh, Facebook ads you need to try different things you need to try uh, different texts and see what works the best uh, read the data um, you know if, if you if you're trying uh, for example the ad sets uh, if you're trying three different ones read the data see what makes what has the more the most clicks and if you do want to try you can try different campaigns and try one campaign for one ad one campaign campaign for a second ad another campaign for a third ad do the same image just change the text find the text that works now guess what now you have the winner text now what you need to do is uh, use that text in three different ads but now you change the image or change the video but I know video is a bit more complicated to try three different videos but I, I I seen it and see I seen um, companies that um, that will actually uh, try uh, the first three seconds of, of the video will actually change, um, and you, you need you know you need to try and experiment and see what works best. Now you know now you have the uh, you have the image, you have the text, so now you can try on the button that that it's actually on the ad. You can see if uh, call now, uh, book now, learn more, take them to your website, have them call you, uh, see what works the best. Now, when you when you when we're talking about the creative, meaning the actual ad, you have a couple of things. You have the ad copy, which is the text. You have the video or image. You have the thumbnail. You know when the video is still didn't low, uh, they, they're gonna see a thumbnail. So all this stuff, you have to see what works best. Once you have all the working parts of the ad that you're convinced that you saw the data and then you're saying, you know, I tried three different images and this is the best one. And again, you can try it for 24 hours, you know, try three different ads for 24 hours, spending $5 on each ad and see which ad had the most attention, the most clicks, the most, you know, whatever it is. Um, even with the videos, uh, try, you can try three different videos and see which ones actually got the most uh, times played. You need to read the data. That's the magic of, of Facebook ads. And again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, 
actually uh, you can actually see all the ads on on Facebook are actually uh, public and let me just show you so if you go to the Facebook ad library you can google it see for example this is a cleaning company it's called Anago cleaning systems now look at all the ads all the different ads they they actually run it at the moment and they I think they sell um, franchises as well so each one of them might be just an ad with a different thing you know with the with a different caption see they have one that says be your own boss and now they have one that says in Spanish the same thing and that this one might be targeted to uh, Spanish speaking people uh, when remember when we chose the age uh, the location and all that in the ad set you can actually uh, choose language as well so uh, look at this one for example right here in the middle it says we offer disinfecting sanitation and deep cleans we can also assess blah 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 so now I mean you don't have to copy word by word, word by word but it gives you an idea of the image of the text and and you can try different things and again uh, you can search for any uh, any cleaning business all you need is just the uh, Facebook page name and that's it they, now they might be running or they might not be running ads so there you go another company look at all the ads Facebook ads that they're running and they run in so many Facebook ads because at the end of the day it works um, so you can actually just google you know facebook ad like i think the the actual url is facebook.com forward slash ads ads forward slash library if that doesn't work uh, i'll try to leave a link still if that doesn't work uh, you can just go google, google it facebook ad library and you can look at all the facebook ads for any page uh, again this is all public uh content all right, I hope uh, I gave you a basic idea of Facebook ads. As you can see, it's not difficult to use. You just need to spend a lot of time trying to master it because if you can actually make it work, I mean, it, it does wonders. I highly recommend using Facebook ads. Just don't go crazy because you, you know, those 10, 20 bucks, some people, oh, I'm, let me try 25 bucks per day. Well, you know, that's going to add up at the end of the month. And again, you can pause or you know pause the ads at any time uh, if you see an ad that doesn't work uh, you can just kill it usually uh, I spend five bucks per ad you can run as many ads as you want and, and see what works for you all right so I hope again that that gave you some basic information and I can light the spark for you to go out and, and do some more research start playing with it I mean again if you go to business.facebook.com it just uses your actual Facebook account to create a, a Facebook um, a Facebook uh, business manager and it's, it's a lot of fun